Vaccine experts for the CDC are going to meet early next month to decide whether or not to recommend Pfizer's COVID vaccine for children as young as five. Here to answer your questions about that and so much more, Dr. Ali Raja, the Executive Vice Chair for Emergency Medicine at Mass General Hospital. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Maria. Great to see you, Doctor. So, all right, here we, we know that some parents hope to have a vaccine available for younger children before Halloween. Doesn't yeah. look like that's going to happen. And you're nodding yes, so it's probably not going to happen. So let me ask you about Thanksgiving. Is Thanksgiving more realistic? And I sure hope so. I think it is. The FDA is meeting to discuss this on October the 26th. And then it goes to the CDC, which is meeting on November 2nd and 3rd. So hopefully soon after, mm -hmm. we'll be able to get our younger kids vaccinated, assuming that everybody signs off. So I think Thanksgiving's looking pretty good. Okay, so Pfizer releasing some information about this vaccine last month. We know it's two shots, 21 days apart, just like the adult version. But why, the question says, why is the dose so much smaller? Is it simply because it's kids and they're smaller? It's a good question, Maria. It, in this case, Pfizer actually tested multiple doses. So the 30 milligram dose is what adults and teenagers got. The 10 milligram dose, the smaller dose, they tested both doses in kids. And it turns out that the 30 milligram dose and the 10 milligram dose both had a great immune response, but the side effects were lower in the lower 10 milligram dose. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win. It's a lower dose mm -hmm. with fewer side effects mm -hmm. and it still works. And still protected, okay. So, so let me ask you, this. I know this, this may sound like a personal question, but, but I think people at home are curious what you would do. So you have two children, right? And, they, and they're between 5 and 11, is that correct? Yeah. So right. if, if this vaccine is authorized for that age group, as a family, have you and your wife decided what you're going to do? We have, you're right. And I'll tell you, we've looked at the data that we have, but honestly, the FDA and CDC are going to look into the data in even more detail than and any other parents are going to do. So if they're approving it and they say that it's safe and, and worth getting, we're going to get both our kids vaccinated as soon as possible. We, Ed, we want to keep them mm -hmm. healthy, but we also want to keep them in school. Mm -hmm. And it's been it's been tough over the past mm -hmm. couple of years. Mm -hmm. Dr. Federal Health officials say that safety is their top priority. But how do you respond to parents who say that this process is moving too fast, that there hasn't been enough time to learn about side effects? And there are a lot of people out there saying that and saying we need to think about this before we do it. Maria, it's, it's a really tough job that the FDA has here. It's a tough needle to thread. You've got to get the vaccines approved and out to the public as quickly as possible to keep everybody safe, but you've also got to make sure you review the safety data as fast as possible. So some people feel like they're dragging their heels. Some people feel like they're moving too past, fast. Hmm. I think we've got to trust the process here and know that they're going by all the data and all the safety information they have. Dr. Roger, thank you so much for, for answering our questions this afternoon. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Doctor. We always Thanks, appreciate it. Take care.